We got some rather unfortunate news. And surprisingly, Nate, these are two guys retiring at the same time, but I feel like it's important to announce this. So, Twins, Marquise and Mike Pouncey have officially announced their retirement from the NFL. So, we're going to start off with um, Marquise Pouncey. Marquise Pouncey was drafted number 18 overall by the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2010, and his brother Mike was drafted the following year, 15th overall by the Miami Dolphins. Both of them have had a tremendous impact in the league since they got in there. Uh, we talk about Marquise Pouncey. I mean, obviously, he's. I think he's the most accomplished. He was a nine-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, and he is part of the Hall of Fame All 2010s Decade Team. So, and then we go to Mike Pouncey, and Mike T Pouncey also had some success in the NFL as well. Mike Pouncey was a four-time Pro Bowler. So, you know what, mate? I'll start off first. I think it is very. First of all, I, I wish these two the best of luck in retirement. I just want to thank them for all the greatness that they have gave us in the NFL. Um, that's number one. Number two, I think it's very rare to see two brothers end up having such great careers in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Two twin brothers at that. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the McCordy twins are one. Um, I expect Shaquem and Shaquille Griffin to have to have that same type of success when Shaquem starts, like you know, building a bigger role in Seattle or where right. he the Watt brothers. Right, the Watt brothers. Right. Well, twins. Why? I'm talking about twin wise. Oh, okay, okay. Especially, especially very rare to see two twins play on the same team. Right, which I know the Pouncey brothers never played on the same team, but still, when they're playing, as for twins though, the Pouncey brothers are like the definition of what you want out of twin NFL players, right there. The successful twin NFL players, and I don't think neither one of them ever won a Super Bowl, but regardless of it, they still got some pretty great stats, especially Marquise. I think Marquise can definitely you can make a you can make a pitch as for him being a Hall of Famer. Same thing with Mike, you know, with the four Pro Bowlers. Pro Bowls, you can definitely make that same thing. But, I mean, let's be honest. Despite which one's going to be a Hall of Famer or not, they both had a great impact on the game, you know? And, I mean, more – and, like, I remember I remember Mike Pouncey has been out most of the year with um, a hip injury. And I remember Marquise Pouncey uh, was out with a, uh, for a couple of weeks with injuries. And, plus, he was suspended for his role in the uh, Miles Garrett-Mason Rudolph fight last year. So – with that being said, I just got to say this, bro. I wish them the best of luck in retirement. And, you know, I mean, obviously, there's so many people that respect the Pouncey brothers. You know, obviously, like, um, Marquise Pouncey, he has had, he's had a great career with Ben Roethlisberger. And Mike Pouncey has had a great career with Miami. And I think, honestly, both of them have, ha have created a bunch of great memories with their teams. And with that being said, I wish them the best of luck in retirement. They really gave us some great memories. And I just want to say thank you for all those. Right, I'll pick up from there. Uh, uh, congratulations to both Mike and Marquise Pouncey on a great, a great NFL careers. Wishing the best of luck in retirement. Uh, let me just read you some quotes from uh, Mike Pouncey. I'll, I'll start with him and then I'll go to Marquise next. Uh, Mike Pouncey said, we began this journey at six years old and now at 31, we were, too, we were closest chapter of our lives as I had not my retirement from the NFL and walk away from the game. Um, as for Marquise, let me just go to that one real quick. He said, I'll, he said, I'll always love the game of football and always will be the ultimate competitor in life at, at, and he tagged the NFL and the Steelers. I'm not just in love with the sacrifice football carries on my life, but my beautiful daughters, Jada, Marley, and my family. So they've had, they obviously had some great careers. I mean, as for the Hall of Fame status, Marquise Pouncey, I think he's definitely slated for the Hall of Fame. I don't even think it's up for discussion. To be a pro bowler nine times out of your 11, 11 seasons, I know 11 seasons isn't a lot, but it doesn't matter if you played 11 seasons, 21 seasons. If you, if you made it if you didn't make the Pro Bowl only twice out of the many years you played in the league in, in the NFL, you could be slated for the Hall of Fame. Also, he's a, he's a two-time All-Pro, and he's a, and he's on the Hall of Fame All-Decade team from 2010 from the 2010s. So I mean, I and, and there's also other stats that can prove his Hall of Fame status. So I think right there, I think that proves his Hall of Fame status. Obviously, he's missing the ring, but I, I at that point, I don't even think it matters. I think he's a Hall of Famer no matter what. If we're going to consider Philip Rivers a Hall of Famer, consider this guy a Hall of Famer as well. Uh, as for Mike Pouncey, you can make a case for him to be in the Hall of Fame. I agree with that. I think, I think if you gather up some, some stats from him and obviously put in the four-time Pro Bowls, you could make a case for him in the Hall of Fame. Again, I'm not going to say who deserves it over the other. I, I think they can both be in the Hall of Fame someday. Um, when that will be, I don't know. I can't tell you that. But hopefully one day we'll get to see him be in Trident, can't, Canton and have their own bus driving around Canton. <laughs> Uh, but with that said, you know, uh, congratulations to Marquise Pouncey and uh, Mike Pouncey on a great, uh, both incredible NFL careers. We're going to miss you. 
and uh, thank you for everything you've done for the league. And congratulations on on um, on retirement. And I hope retirement treats you well.